In this tutorial, we will create a downforce control configuration on the AgLeader Integra display. Downforce support began on firmware version 4.0 for Spring 2013. To begin, from the home screen, press the Wrench or Setup button, and from Configuration Setup, press the green plus button to add. Choose Planting, and the first step will be to add a vehicle. Press the green plus to add and then press the keypad to enter a make and model. When finished, press next, and at the attachment points page, check mark the implement attachment type and press the keypad to enter a value in inches to the attachment point from the rear axle. Press next and acknowledge vehicle name by pressing the green check mark. At the offsets page, I can press the wrench to enter vehicle offsets or I can do this at a later time. At the implement page, press the green plus to add. Specify implement type and press next. At the make and model screen, press the keypad to enter the implement make and model. Press Next. Specify the implement attachment type. An application point offset, enter the distance from the hitch to application point. Press Next. From implement options, check mark Downforce. Press Next. I'll choose not to add a rate controller. From rows and spacing, specify the number of rows and row spacing on the planner. When finished, press Next. Section count refers to swath control, so without section clutches, leave it 1. Set to 2 or 3 sections if you have the multiple product unlock and wish to plant multiple varieties. Press Next. I will choose not to add application channels. If using an implement switch set to standard or reverse polarity, this can be changed later as well. Lastly, acknowledge implement name by pressing the green check mark. The new implement should be coverage with the device being downforce and if applicable implement switch. Press next and select the planning variety, be it single, double, or three variety split. Press next and in downforce options, select your physical hardware setup on the planner, the number of channels and sensors. Set to the pre-described combination of channels and sensors or press custom to assign your specific planar downforce setup. To change a row center sensor's location, you will need to set it up by the custom option. Here with my two channel configuration, I'll change channel 1 to rows 2 and 15 and highlight channel 2 and specify that as rows 8 and 11. When finished, press Next. Specify the configuration speed source to display GPS. Press Next and acknowledge configuration name by pressing the green check mark. Now the downforce configuration will be populated in the setup list. For more on downforce operation, please refer to your Integra manual.